A controversial South African Muslim missionary visiting Australia has found reason to thank his critics. Sheikh Ahmad Didaj says those who've criticised the timing of his first Australian lecture have done him an enormous favour. One opponent, the head of the Wesley Mission, says an anticipated attack on Christianity on Good Friday is scandalous. As he embarks on his first Australian tour, Sheikh Ahmed Didat says he hopes to educate Muslims about Christianity and Christians about Islam. This Good Friday, what they're talking about, these things didn't happen. And my proof is from the Bible itself. The timing of the first public rally so on Good Friday at Sydney's Town Hall has created a storm. Can you imagine if Christians hired the Sydney Town Hall to deny that Muhammad was a prophet, to attack the Quran and to displace Islamic faith in the middle of Ramadan, what would happen? I'll tell you what, I would have to join Selman Rushdie. Tour organisers say they hope Reverend Moyes will meet the Sheikh to discuss the differences between the two religions. But we are not attacking, we just want to explain whether you believe or do not, it is up to you. The Sheikh believes Reverend Moyes has done him a great favour. Look, if he had ignored me, your newspapers and your radios and your TVs would have never known that did that had come and gone. The New South Wales Ecumenical Council declined to comment on this sensitive matter saying it does not want to inflame the relationship between Christians and Muslims, particularly at this holy time. While the Australian Federation of Islamic Councils welcomes Sheikh Ahmed Didat's visit, but are disappointed that it clashes with their annual congress. Plans for a Muslim lecture to be held at the Sydney Town Hall on Good Friday have sparked a religious row. South African Muslim leader Sheikh Ahmed Didat has offered Christian church leaders the chance to join the theological debate. But they've rejected it because the event coincides with one of the holiest days in the Christian calendar. 78-year-old Sheikh Ahmed Didat has taken on religious leaders throughout the world, arguing the teachings of Islam with evangelists like Jimmy Swaggart. We are not taking you know, exception to that because this is you are not used to the, our names. But it's the timing of his Easter visit that's upset Christian church leaders. The Sheikh has made a booking on Good Friday at no less a venue than the Sydney Town Hall to argue the Islamic view that Jesus was a prophet but not the Son of God. It's out of love and respect that the Christian says Jesus is God. And out of love and respect we say Jesus is not God. But the head of Wesley Mission claims the Sheikh is being insensitive. He is due to speak on Good Friday, the most holy day in the Christian calendar. That is a very offensive approach to Christians. Mr Didat admits the two faiths have fundamental differences, but believes public debate will lead to greater tolerance. In this vast volume, the name Muhammad occurs only five times. Jesus occurs 25 times, 500% more times the name Jesus occurs. He is the king of kings. Reverend Moyes has been invited to take the stage with the Sheikh during his Good Friday address. It's an invitation the Reverend has declined. A war of words has erupted this Easter between Sydney's Christian leaders and a visiting Islamic scholar. The Christians are outraged that the Muslim missionary has chosen to hold a public rally today. But this Easter has seen a religious war of words over a visit by a leading South African Islamic missionary. It has Christian leaders hopping mad. What's incensed Christian leaders about the visit of this Islamic scholar, quite apart from the message itself, is the timing of the event. Christians are incensed that Sheikh Ahmed Didat has chosen Good Friday, a Christian festival, to launch his public rally. Could you imagine what would happen if the Christians of the community took the Sydney Town Hall in the middle of Ramadan and started to deride Muhammad and indicate that the Quran is incorrect? But the man at the centre of the storm, Sheikh Ahmed Didat, doesn't know what all the fuss is about. To me, it is childish. By God, it is childish. I don't want to go deeper into that. It's, it's no sense. The Catholic and Anglican Easter messages centred on trust, violence and our descent into savagery. Progressively we are becoming an arrogant, ruthless, bullying society and that is not our inheritance. We develop thicker and thicker hearts to protect ourselves and as we lose trust...